After completing their latest task and returning to their workstation, the team is given the rest of the day off by Mern. You all have earned a rest. Yeah. You cool? Yeah. Go kill it. Good game. and Peacemaker hang out at Peacemaker's place and have a jolly time. Adebayo uses the opportunity to plant the diary at Peacemaker's house. After she leaves, she becomes stressed about compromising her morality for the job. Yeah, I, um, I'm sorry, babe. I know you are asleep, but uh, I'm sorry about this morning. Uh, this job, it, 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 this thing is fucking me up, and I, um, <sighs> anyway, I, I love you, and I will, um, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Adebayo returns to the office and finds Mern working to extract information from the computers obtained from Glan Tai. Adebayo tries on Peacemaker's X-ray vision helmet and ends up discovering that Mern is a butterfly. She tries to flee the scene but is attacked by Mern. He tackles Adebayo to the ground, and the episode ends without confirming whether Adebayo is dead or alive. <laughs> On the surface, Adebayo's situation looks dire. While the viewers have known that Mern is a butterfly, this is the first time anyone close to the team leader has discovered the truth. Mern's status as a butterfly could create a conflict of interest, thereby removing him from Project Butterfly. Therefore, Mern will take the precaution of keeping things quiet and might kill Adebayo to keep his secret intact. However, given that Mern is working for Amanda Waller, Adebayo's mother, he might be apprehensive of killing Adebayo if he finds out the truth about her lineage. The situation is very complex and could spell the end of Adebayo. However, given that all of Mern's actions have been to stop the butterflies from continuing their takeover, it is safe to argue that Mern is on the good side. Therefore, he is likely to spare Adebayo a certain death. However, in turn, Adebayo might have to further corrupt herself by doing Mern's dirty work. Adebayo's growing friendship with Peacemaker and personal journey are becoming cornerstones of the show's narrative. Therefore, it is hard to imagine the makers killing off a main character midway through the debut season.